the last episode was all about the eye machine from Native Instruments. This week we're taking a look at a competitive product called the Beatmaker 2, but it can be used in collaboration with the eye machine as well. Each has its own strong points. So let's take a look at what Beatmaker 2 has to offer. So let's dive into Beatmaker 2. So we've got two choices to start off with, the drum machine or the keyboard sampler. I'm gonna go with the drum machine because I wanna add some elements on top of the beat that we had last week. So this is what the beat sounds like. Let's go to percussions one, load it up. So what we need to do is to come up here to the actual device itself. So that's the kind of vibe that I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna stop the beat. I could record this literally live into Ableton, but it's gone against basically the whole concept of this video. You know, what I'm talking about here is, is, is being on the move, you know, programming stuff on a train journey outside wherever, and then bringing it back into the studio. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's take the song and increase the tempo. So we're looking for 123 to match. So let's just take this. You can use the plus or the minus signs to get it accurate. So there we go, 123. You've got some record options here. So you can set the pre-roll. You can do that. You can quantize on the way in. I'd suggest that depending on your ability, um, a lot of people are going to struggle with getting stuff in time on the way in. So let's get the quantize on the go. And I'm going to record into the built-in sequencer. So I'm going to set a loop there. And we're going to get a count in. There we go. So you can hear it looping there. Let's see what else we got. So I'm going to leave that and switch on to another one. So here we go. Let's click on the plus. Let's go to Percussions 2. There's a big library here. That's one of the advantages of Beatmaker 2. It's got a very comprehensive library. So Percussions 2. So yeah, I'm going to get a shaker in. So here we go. I think that could work quite nicely. So one of the ways that you could work with this is to, to literally build your own percussion loops that could be stored in a library. You know, these could be part of your own unique percussion library, stuff that you've built up on the move and you bring it back and record it in. So let's take that off. Just gonna push stop. So that's gonna do for the moment. Of course, we want, we want to sort of adjust some levels and stuff. You know, you can do that. You know, any of these sounds here, you can come over. We've got the option to adjust the volume and the panning. So actually, considering that I'm going to record this all straight in as a stereo pair into Ableton, I think I'm going to do a bit of balancing. So let's give that a go now. I'm going to pan that shaker over a little bit to the left. I'm going to adjust the mix here. And this shaker, pan over to the right a bit. So let's come back to the other instrument. Gonna pan this over. Just gonna adjust the panning a little bit on the congas. Yeah, I like what's going on there. Gonna take the metronome as, as well. Okay, so that's good. So let's imagine that you've prepared that wherever you may be on the train or out and about, and you wanna actually bring that through to your library or potentially to integrate into a tune. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So what we'll do is we'll just get this recording. And so I don't actually get any clashing going on. I'm just gonna take off the original beat so that we can't hear it because I'm gonna set this up to record and then I'm gonna push play on the beat maker two here. So here we go. You can see the waveform coming through. Here we go. 
Now by pure fluke, it actually looked like I was almost in some form of grid timing there. Let's just stop that. So we've got the recording. We need to once again zoom in. And it looks like there's this, it's attempting to pick up the transient there, but I think I would go with over here, gonna right click and go set 1.1. So let's have a look. Let's see how that sits now. It's only one bar and gonna bring the volume down get the original beat and see how they sit together. Now that's actually working really nicely. I'm very happy with that. So that's one way that you could work with Beatmaker, but you can actually use it for instruments too. I'm gonna to show you. So we're gonna click on plus, and we can go to keyboard sampler there's a whole load of instruments that you could potentially pick here and there are different categories so you can see bass all this kind of business here there are synthesizers this is really like a all-in-one sequencer setup so if all you want to do is to make beats and get some midi style instruments down the beatmaker 2 could be a good choice for you so that concludes our look at Beatmaker 2. It's a great all-rounder, so long as you don't want to record stuff in. GarageBand might be your option if you want to do that, because you can record audio. I have seen the spec list, though, for the Beatmaker 2 update, and it looks as if they're incorporating some form of audio recording. So keep your eyes open for that. By the time the video is published, the features may be available. This is a really good all-rounder, highly recommended. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach it online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.